All right, friends, we're here at Contender Boats with Rob, what's the last name? Saban. Saban, that's right. All right, so I was walking by and this rig right here caught my eye because I can see myself with a boat like this. I love to trout fish in what I call the short water. And uh, in my eyes, this is the ideal boat to do it in. And uh, I can tell you one of the first features that caught my eyes, most of these boats, the casting platform on the front is sunk. It's down four, six inches or something like that. This one has a very subtle little tow rail there that when you're casting, you can just bump your foot up against and let you know that you're right at the edge. But tell us a little bit about this model here. So this is our 26 foot bay boat. Just gotten an overhaul. We sold 25 foot bay boats for a year. Our 25 foot bay boat was a staple in the line. And uh, after about a decade of, of uh, running that boat, the engineers got a hold of it and did some updates for us last year. We launched it at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show last year. It's a very popular model for us. Um, obviously, you know, the versatility of a bay boat like this with this size is uh, a big selling point for people. We, you know, have a lot of guys that on the right days, they'll, they'll run offshore, use it as a near shore boat for, right. you know, 20, 30 miles offshore, bottom fishing. Uh, and then the draft on this boat is extremely skinny. So you can get back in that shore water like you were talking about. And you can, you know, chase your redfish, your trout down in the keys, you're chasing your permit and your, your bone fish and stuff like that. Right. The trailer ability of a boat this size is great. You know, anybody with a, a one ton tr uh, pickup truck can, can pull the boat. It's uh, loaded. I think you're talking about 6,500 pounds. So that's with fuel and everything. That's with fuel and wow, everything. That's yeah, amazing. so it's a, it's a pretty sweet rig as yeah. far as the versatility is concerned. Tell us about some of the trolling motor options that you can get with this rig. So we've got three different trolling motors that we offer from the factory from three different brands. Um, basically what we do is we glass in a block on the front um, and that's where we put your mount uh, we rig all your batteries uh, we've got lithium batteries or we've got your standard uh, deep cycle batteries um, that we can rig up and uh, you've got your extra battery switch inside the console um, anything from the self-deploying trolling motor to you know your more basic motor guide uh, right. trolling motor setup okay. and all that can happen OEM at the factory all right now, as we move on back, we'll talk about some of the other features here. Here we have a anchor locker, correct? Anchor locker there, correct. How about yep. there? This is a large dry storage hatch here. So you've got uh, a flip up latch on this side and that side. Right. You open it up, you've got some cutouts for your uh, five gallon buckets right there so I they see. can sit there. Yeah. And then you store anything from life jackets and safety equipment to tackle or anything you might need while you're out on the water. That's pretty awesome. Now, we were talking about seating options here. All of them come with the steps here, but you said it was a, an upholstery option here. You could either get it correct. with a C deck or this, this comb in here. That's correct. You yep. can you can upholster this front uh, U-shaped seating area. Uh, you can add these backrests here to make them more of a lounge seat, or if you want it to be a little bit more utilitarian, you can have it straight from the factory with the C deck in that seating right there and as the combing pad up front. And here in the center, uh, what is in that floor hat? More dry storage. More there. dry storage. Mm -hmm. And we have a cooler here in front of the console. Got a cooler there, that's removable. So if you want more deck space up front, you can pull that off. Each of these lifts up and you've got dry storage under these as well. So pull the backrest out and then uh, storage pops up like that right. on both sides. And then you got more storage in the center seat up front there. Okay. Awesome, awesome. All right, so now we're here in the console area. Tell us a few different options here uh, that we can get besides this one. So standard options include stuff like this glassed-in fiberglass box right here. So you can put your cell phone in your wallet, keep dry storage. You can add charging equipment in there like a USB port or so a 12 volt plug port. your phone in and put it right in there. Exactly, yeah, awesome. you don't have anything sliding around up here on the dash. This right. is a nice catch all right here for all your gear that you want to keep dry. Um, you can do cup holders on that side or you can leave them off. You can put a rod rack on that side of the console over there. If you'd like, you can put four rod holders over there. Um, as far as the actual console is concerned in the electronics suite, you've got 12 inch screens right here, but you can go the dual screen route and, and go up to 16s, or if you want, you can do a 24 inch display on there. Um, we've built them with Simrad and Garmin. So. so all of your options are really flexible when it comes to this console. Here. That's it's the like beauty of building a boat with Contender is that it's not only in regards to the stereo and electronics, as far as you know customization is concerned, the options that we extend are, I mean, really endless. You know, we like to pride ourselves in saying that if, if you can dream it up, we can probably figure out a way to build it. That's awesome. Now, you also mentioned that we can have a second station uh, above here. That's correct, yeah. So we have what we call a stand-on console second station. Basically, what you do is there's a convertible uh, 
top, glass top that retracts here into the, into the hard top. And then you've got a, uh, a stanchion up top where you've got your uh, binnacle and your steering wheel um, and your controls up top. So your feet would go here and you would poke up top there and you've got everything you need to, to run the boat. And that there. extra six feet of height really makes a difference when you're chasing those reds up into grass flats and stuff like that. The higher up you can get, the better. That's right, yep. that's right. And nice nice captain chairs here. Yeah, uh, these are the LeBrock upgrades. So your leaning post options, you also have a couple of those. This is the, this is the you know, the cream of the crop right here. You've got the fiberglass leaning post with the grab rail back here with the, the rod holders and the cup holders with the frigid rigid coolers on a slide. So this, this cooler slides out here so you've got access to it. Um, and then it's finished off on the top with these beautiful LeBrock seats. And yeah, I mean, they are beautiful. you know, as, as far as comfort goes, you, you really can't get any better yeah. than that. But the other the other leaning posts that we make are uh, pipe work that we build in-house, upholster in-house, they're, they're, you know, they're great options. As so well. all of your pipe work for everything is in-house? Yes, sir, that's correct. That's awesome. You do all your powder coating and everything too? We outsource the powder coating, but that's basically the only thing that you're gonna see on this boat that gets outsourced. Okay, awesome, I love that. All right, so now we're back here in the steering area. Tell us a little bit about back, what's going on back here. Yeah, so I mean, you start, you look over here, you've got a port and a starboard jump seat. So this folds down and the, and the deck is flush <clears throat> all the way around. But when you're ready to use a seat, it flips up like that, nice upholstery. Um, we can add a bench seat across the live well. So we'll upholster a cushion that'll sit here. We'll put a rod holder here, rod holder here, and we'll fashion a backrest. It's removable. So you can still have that flush deck that we were talking about. Um, as far as live wells are concerned, you've got your big live well right here. And then you've got your little bait well right here. Those both function off of one pump or two. You know, you can run them independently. Okay. Um, and then back here, you've got full access to your bilge here. Nice big wide bilge access there for all your bilge pumps, live wall pumps, through hole fittings. Um, and then you've got more access on this side. Same thing on the other side as well. Right. That's awesome. Now see this model has a jack plate on them. Do all of these come with jack plates? Every bay boat that we make has our, our customized jack plate that we build with Bob's machine. And uh, it was designed just specifically for this boat. So uh, it's standard equipment on the 26 bay. Okay, so tell us a little bit about our power options for this model. So you can range anything from a 250 VMAX on the Yamaha side up to a, a 300 here that you see from Yamaha. On the Merck side, you start with the 300s and you can get all the way up into the racing motors, uh, into the, the V10 400 or the, the you know 450s. I think they just came out with a 500. I don't know if we put the 500 all on here, but, but uh, ridiculous. yeah, but you can certainly, uh, man, you, you can certainly do a lot with it. I can't imagine what that 300 does to this rig. I mean, it's, he's, he's, it's a 60 mile an hour boat. That's I mean, crazy. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're cruising, man. That's fully loaded. So it's, uh, oh, yeah. you get great fuel economy. It's a proven power package. Uh, we we really uh, we really love to see it. And this I noticed this boat still has the contender step hole down there. And That's I'm, right. I'm sure that uh, she'll ride in some nice bait chop, you know, and cut right through it, skip right over top of it. Yeah. I'd. Do uh, you have a range of an MSRP for this model? Uh, here at the boat show? Yeah, MSRP for bait boat, base boat and uh, motors, you're gonna come in somewhere around 130,000 and if you really wanna dress it up and put that second station on there like you were talking about, put a 450 racing motor on there and really trick it out with stereo electronics and everything with this leaning post, you, you, you can get up into that 250, 270 mark. That's amazing. Well, maybe one of these days I'll get rich off of YouTube and I'll be able to afford one. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> so this will be the first place I come to get one. Too. You got my number. This is really the flats boat of my dream. I've had my eye on, you know, these styles since it, it's, since you guys came out with them. And uh, it's just a lot of the features myself that I love. And I told you, I'm a bow caster, you know what I mean? And that, it just, in this back here, it just, it makes my day and I love this boat, so. Well, we certainly appreciate that. Really man. nice We're, we're proud of it. Thank nice you, to meet you, you too. So yeah, much, nice absolutely. And certainly. Uh, we appreciate you telling us all the good information about this rig here, so. No problem. All right.